Hello everyone, this is David from The Pill Pedal. Um, we've prepared a little Q&A about the new version of The Pill Pedal and we hope you enjoy it. So what's new on this version compared to the old one? As you can see, it's like a new design and especially a new layout. We have all connectors just on one side, which is uh, space saving and super handy to put it on your pedal board. You can have it like this on your pedal board. You can have it like this on your pedal board. So this is one thing. It comes in a super nice sand plated black enclosure, still with the pill logo on it, of course. <laughs> and one totally new thing we are very proud about is that the knobs, at least the second two knobs, are loaded with capacitive touch sensors. That means that you can fire triggers manually by tapping these little knobs we will show you later. And yeah, there's like new hardware, for example, this super nice tactile foot switch, uh, nitric connectors, and there's also a new thing here. You can plug in a foot switch or CV, I will explain later. And yeah, but inside it's still the original docking effect, optical compression, side and compression pedal. So let's talk about the connectors here on this side. So the pill pedal, it's a stereo pedal. That means it has two inputs and two outputs. Here are the inputs, audio inputs. Here are the audio outputs. You can plug your stereo signal. You can just use one of these. You can plug your guitar here or here. Or you can plug two different instruments. So for example, plug here your bass and here your synthesizer. Um, here we have the trigger input and the trigger output, which routes the input just out of the pedal again. And every time the pedal detects a signal here on the trigger input, it will duck the audio signal, which is plugged here. Um, here we have a new thing you can plug a foot switch to manually trigger the pedal with, by, with your foot or CV you can plug in like a Eurorack modular synthesizer and here's the 9 to 12 volt DC power connector. So let's connect the pill pedal the most simple way and let's talk about the capacitive touch sensors. I plug in a mono source, so one input, or first maybe the power. <laughs> one input, one output. I've plugged my microphone here going through a reverb. I freeze something with that reverb right now. This knob, we have the ducking effect. So this knob is the trigger sensitivity for your trigger input. And if there's nothing plugged into the trigger input, it turns into a capacitive touch sensor. With your fingertip, you can fire manually triggers. triggered the pill pedal with our fingertip here. Now let's connect a drum machine. Let's connect this one.
this trigger sensitivity knob sets the gain or threshold of the trigger signal. As you can see, now I plugged the drum machine, the touch sensor is disabled. I can still uh, manually trigger the pill with my fingertips, now with two, by just tapping both knobs. This is depth, it's the ducking intensity. And this is release, it's the ducking length. So this is a stereo pedal. It has two inputs, two outputs. You can plug your stereo signal or you can also plug two different instruments. And we are doing this right now. I still, I've still plugged the microphone and right now I've also plugged the guitar. The cool thing about this pedal is now that it rhythmically connects these two instruments, the guitar and the vocals together. Let's explore this. Thank mm -hmm. you. 